Welcome to video 16 in this series of 34 two minute videos detailing the key concepts in my new book, Made to Thrive. Made to Thrive outlines the five key roles that a leader must undertake to transition from being a good leader to being a great leader. These five roles are accountability, ambassador, culture, strategy, and succession planning. Today, we're talking about culture, and in particular, 3.0. A positive culture unites the team and attracts the right people. In the 2018 Edelman Trust Barometer, 60% of respondents said that CEOs were primarily focused on profit and greed versus trying to make a positive difference in the world. In that same survey, 56% of respondents outlined that any organization whose CEO was focused primarily on themselves and their own profits was destined to fail. If we look to the origins of the word culture, they actually come from the Latin word colere, which means to care or cultivate. And that meaning isn't lost in this context. In your job as a leader, in the culture role of the five roles, your job is to care or to cultivate your people. And so when you look at the people who you are supporting, the people who report to you, are you cultivating them and are you caring for them? Imagine you're the custodian of all of your staff. All of the staff who are with you will have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And during that tenure, you are their custodian to care for them and to cultivate them, to help them to grow. That is the key part of your culture role. But remember accountability. So we are caring for our team on the one hand, and we're cultivating them, but equally, we're holding them accountable. We're not letting them go. We're making sure that these two elements are always present. Lots of caring and lots of accountability. If you'd like to learn more about Made to Thrive, you can order the book on Amazon now, or you can watch all of these videos on YouTube, and I'll put the links below for both of those.